Michael, it's great to have you. Welcome. Kelly, thanks for having me. So we've seen this trend for quite some time already. Tell me some areas where I should expect to see paper make further inroads on plastic. Yeah, thanks for that. Look, if you look at where the consumer is going, they really understand the science much better than it ever before in our country's history. And they're really looking for, uh, you know, packaging that helps, uh, you know, support the brands that they want to uh, promote. And from our standpoint, we're doing things in the paper cup area. We're doing things, as you saw with one of the pictures there, uh, replacing, uh, you know, plastic rings on six pack cans with paperboard, uh, you know, packages that, uh, you know, can be recycled, you know, up to six to eight times. And how much better is all of this paper for the environment? Is there is it because recycling technology captures it better and can reuse it? Because even on that front, sometimes you hear, you know, issues about it not all being recaptured. Yeah, the real thing that really is great about paper in, in paper in North America in particular and in Europe, where, which are the two principal markets that we operate in, the recovery rates for paper in the U.S. last year were approach 70 percent. So if you think about that versus plastic in the mid-teens, that's really where uh, you know, paper has, a, has an advantage. And as I indicated earlier, these can be recycled many times and put back into the same type of primary package. So what may start off as a cereal carton can wind up as a cake carton the next time you see it. Hmm. I mean, I'm still trying to get used to the paper straws. It's not it's not a great experience, but yeah. I understand uh, the priorities here. You've caught the attention and the eye of David Einhorn and his Greenlight Capital. Uh, as I understand it, they have about a $15 million stake in the company. And he thinks paperboard is going to see sustained price gains because too little has been invested in production. Can you talk about that? Yeah, and I think that, uh, you know, that's his investment thesis, and we're certainly glad to have him as a shareholder in our company. Uh, we, we agree. I mean, that's why we're making the big bet that we made in Kalamazoo, uh, where we're spending over $600 million to build a brand new paper machine, which will replace four older machines. Um, it'll be, you know, uh, state-of-the-art technology and really reduce our overall emissions. As you can appreciate, it's all modern technology, so our energy consumption, ultimately greenhouse gas emissions, and uh, the water usage will be substantially lower than our current platform. And how much bigger do you expect your company to get? I know you've made acquisitions in Europe. Um, I've spoken in the past a lot with International Paper, and obviously they have a lot of efforts in this direction as well. Um, where do you see this all heading in terms of the size your company can reach and the potential size of the market? Yeah, so we laid out our 2000, in 2019 our vision 2025, and we said at that time our ambition was to be a $10 billion-plus company, and we're well on that, that journey. Uh, you know, this next year, uh, you know, we'll approach $9 billion you know, in revenue with the acquisition we just made in Europe. And uh, we're excited to be in Europe because Europe is really ground zero for sustainability. A lot of the packaging trends come out of Europe, and now we're going to have a leading market share in that uh, uh, geography, and that's going to help us move those trends around the world to the other places where we operate in much faster uh, fashion. Great point. When it, it, I think we're showing there. Is that what it's going to look like if you get a four or a six pack with paper uh, paper packaging? Yeah, and just and look how great that packaging looks. I mean, it's it's got great merchandising capabilities, and you can recycle it six to eight times, and it doesn't wind up in the ocean. There you go. Adver an advertising spot. That's what it's all about, right there. On the yeah, top. exactly. <laughs> Michael, thank you so much for joining us today.